Hey guys, I'm Liz and I kind of talk about random coding videos and other skills that I'm working on on YouTube here. So today we're going to be talking about GitHub and how I use it in conjunction with VS Code to basically um, save my code on um, the internet uh, just in case like I lose my computer or something happens and also I can collaborate with other people if needed and share my code. So I'm going to go over kind of what is GitHub, how do you use it with VS Code, and then like barely touch on Netlify and how I'm hosting my site and go over the project I'm working on. So I found out um, GitHub through a class I'm taking called SheCodes. And basically it's a place where you can push your code to and save it and then collaborate with it. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like on the inter internet here. So this is what, this is where you download it. So this is Git, um, I'll link it below. Um, this is my code for the project I'm working on right now. And so you can see right here, um, these are the uh, two documents for my code. And then I've been using it with VS Code. <clears throat> so basically what you do is as you code, um, you have both open. So you have your VS Code open and you have the GitHub desktop app. So you download it and then you have them open in conjunction. And as I edit things, like I'm just going to put, um, what, what do we want to say? Uh, um, test for GitHub video. And then maybe I'll just like throw in another, we'll just copy and paste. Okay. Cool, so hopefully it grabs this. See, now it's not saying that there were any changes, but typically it'll pull your code in right here and see what you changed. I know it's working because it has like this highlighted kind of change. So you can see that it's clearly tracking the change of your code. Um, typically it'll, it'll come up in here and then you can like type um, change or did test for video. So you type in here and then you press commit to main and then it saves that change and it labels it as whatever you wanted to label it as. For some reason, it's not grabbing it right now. Of course, the one time I want to show it off, it doesn't do it. <clears throat> so I double checked that this is the right app. So that's just weird that it's not seeing that. Um, whatever. Don't really care too much about it because I didn't actually make a change. Um, typically it'll track it. Uh, it probably just takes a while to refresh. So maybe if I save it. And if I do test and I save it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So saved it, and now you can see like tested for video. So let me just change that, oops. And then you can see this is what the changes were. So now I'm gonna press commit to main, and now it's sending it to the main code, and then it says push commits to or, or, origin remote. Anyway, you press push, so you see I press that, and then it pushes it to online, basically. So let's go ahead and pull it up. And then let's refresh this. And then little do we see, or little do we know, uh, we have tested for video what we just pushed to here 22 seconds ago. So you can see all your commits. So this is in what they call a repository um, for, for your project. So each project should have a repository and then you can see all your different commits, which is like initial commit, added weather app code, added link, added conversion and GitHub link, centered link to GitHub, updated better code for GitHub link, you know, fix CSS, added unit conversion. So this is your main, obviously. Um, but it's very cool because you can see what you did and if you fuck something up, like very easy to figure out what happened. So if we go back to the code, um, you can also open it up. So you can click this and you can see my entire code. So if I wanted to share code with somebody, it's very simple, very easy to do. 
so then they can just copy whatever they need, etc. So this is a really cool um, desktop app, which I highly recommend if you're coding. Um, not haven't used it in anything besides HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But what's also cool about it is you can link it to Netlify. And so I'll do another video on Netlify separately, but I basically pushed my code um, uh, onto Git right here, and then you can link it to Netlify, and then you can have your own website for free, um, and then you can also pay for it if you wanna change the uh, name, because right now I have it as Vigorous Point Care, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> So you can see um, the site that I've made through Netlify. So this is my final project. So it's a weather app, so you can type in like Paris and it will change. I haven't fixed the forecast yet, but this is my final project for She Codes. I have one more week and then I graduate, yay. Um, and I get my certificate, which I'm very excited for. Cause it's like, once you get one certificate, it's like collecting Pokemon cards. You just can't stop. Um, so you can do Seattle and then it, and then you can also change from Fahrenheit to Celsius and stuff. So it's kind of cool. Um, I just need to fix this. And then you can see at the bottom, I have open source code and you can open that and see my code in GitHub. So this is a very cool website slash app. Uh, a lot of software engineers and programmers use GitHub to collaborate on code. So it's something that's used a lot in the industry that I feel like if you wanna take your coding seriously or to the next level, you should learn how to use this and how to make a repository, which I will do a separate video on how to make a repository specifically and start from scratch with a new project. Um, I just wanted to give you an overview of how I've been using it um, and give you an example of how I've been using it to store my weather app code. Um, but I feel like it's really cool and I'm glad they taught me this in the class. But again, I will show you a more specific video on other parts of GitHub. I haven't gotten my, like, I haven't like completely gone into depth on all the cool things it can do. I just know that you can store your code and save it there. That way, like if something happens, you don't like lose all your code and you can collaborate in it. Um, but anyway, I hope this helps you guys understand kind of what GitHub is, especially when people are talking about it. Um, so that is all I have to share today and I hope it helped you guys.